Welcome to the Time Sports Show. Uh, big year for Fijian rugby as uh, we are to play uh, the All Blacks uh, in a historic test uh, later this year in San Diego. And to talk more about the Fiji Rugby Union and its plans for the year, we have uh, the General Manager Development and Operations, uh, Sally Sorovaki. Sally, always good to have you on the show. Thank you for taking out your time. Uh, firstly, uh, first things first, we have uh, I mean, on, on, the, on the national level, we have uh, the Skipper Cup uh, quarterfinals with the uh, NZ Marama uh, quarterfinals coming up this week. Teams have had a good break uh, with uh, the Fair Brother Challenge and the, ANZ, uh, the Bosco Trophy challenges going on. So, expecting uh, good battles in the quarterfinals in the Skipper Cup uh, this week? Yes, uh, Rohit. You know, it's, um, you know, we've uh, increased the number of uh, teams. Um, this year to 10 in the Skipper Cup and also the ANZ Marama. And, uh, you know, what a, one of the big changes this year was moving our competitions to start in February. That came after consultations with Ndrua uh, to have their players not starting on Saturdays to come in and play for their provincial teams, which had been, you know, which worked to, uh, uh, for both. Uh, you know, but uh, to answer your question, you know, the eight teams that are involved, uh, you know, they've all deserved their places to be there. Uh, I, I think the two teams that uh, missed out was Namosi and um, Namosi and the Asawa. So um, you know the other eight teams that have been there in you know, Olotoka came up from uh, the Vodafone Vodou last year along with Ma and they've you know cemented their spots mm. in the top eight. So you know and and Ma is taking on Suva who finished on top. You know so that's a huge challenge uh, for for Ma in itself. You know having coming in. You know, taking on the the champions of the 2023 uh, Skipper Cup. But uh, having said that, in the Marama as well, you know, there's a few uh, big matchups there too, and uh, it's always good to see that uh, uh, you know the progress of our local competition because this is what uh, the competition that harnesses our players for the Ndrua, for the Sevens, even under 20s as well. Mm. Uh, there was a bit of concerns about. Uh, or the format of the competition, so the unions had voiced their concerns. Uh, I, I saw you, you've had meetings with the unions lately. Uh, are there any changes expected next year or the unions have agreed to continue with this? Well, the thing is, uh, you know, it's it's like uh, renovating a house. You know, it's the same structures are there, but just done a bit differently, just, uh, you know, repairing some parts. And, uh, and for us at Fiji Rugby, our job is to is to format our competitions to you know to suit the current uh, when I say the current uh, economic uh, buying power of our fans you know and uh, you know and that's always a challenge getting fans uh, to watch the games because there's a lot of uh, rugby on TV you know mm -hmm. so what would the local competition do so the fans can come on a Saturday or Friday to come and watch. Uh, the rugby games, but you know it's our job to reformat the competition, and and this year we've increased it to ten. Uh, you know we want to see what it looks like, and uh, and this is not only a Fijian problem; it's probably a worldwide problem because people get too tired of the same thing. Mm. You know, after a couple of years, we need to change and and re look at uh, how we can uh, you know, just make it interesting for the fans. So, if there are any changes, it would be dished out later. On? If there's any changes, we normally take it to the unions, and they come up with uh, what they want, and then we'll talk it over. And then it has to be passed at uh, you know, special general meetings. That's where we we normally table the following season's uh, uh, competition format. Hmm. And the promotion relegation, there were some interesting matches there. Good to see Malolo and the Kandavu women's team, of course. <laughs> uh, well, there you go, the laughter, uh, since he's from Kandavu as well. Uh, so, quite tight matches in, in the promotion relegation yes. teams, which uh, won on the last day. They uh, Some missed out, and some yes. teams which lost have made it. So, it was quite interesting. Yes, well. it's, uh, you know, the, the, the promotion relegation, as I said, you know, we go to the unions. We have 26 provincial unions and two affiliated unions in the primary schools and secondary schools. So any changes, we cannot do it ourselves. The union has to agree to it. Mm -hmm. So the increase in the numbers was something by the unions, and also the promotion relegation was something the unions had agreed to because we used to have it before, and then they said, "Oh, we we do away with the promotion relegation. Let's just do a straight uh, mm -hmm. swap." So we did that, and it's been going for f five years. And they said, "Okay, can can we go back to promotion relegation?" So you now we're here to. Um, to do what the unions uh, want. Hmm. 
Now on to the Fijiana 15s team. Uh, they did well at the, at the Oceania Championship that we have. The Japanese uh, national team coming to Fiji, that, that's going to be big for women's rugby in the country. Uh, and I guess we're playing two matches at home. Uh, so if I'm looking forward to that one as well. Yes, you know, first of all, congratulations to the Fijiana uh, 15s and also the Japanese women. They had just qualified from their Asia. So they'll be in the WXV2 in the same uh, tournament uh, this year. And uh, yes, they get in this Saturday, uh, so they're looking forward to staying for two weeks and two matches, uh, one in Suva, one in Lotoka. So, uh, you know, we've, uh, I don't think we've ever beaten the Japanese women team before. They ranked 11. We, after beating some more, we are now ranked uh, 15. So, you know, we, having spoken with the uh, management of Fijian, they would like to be at uh, in the top 10 by the World Cup next year. So, you know, they, they're slowly making uh, inroads and we see that in the growth of our women's game uh, domestically. So that also feeds our Fijian uh, national teams and our Fijian and Ro and our Fijian and Sevens teams. Hmm. So with them playing here at home, we of course have the home ground advantage and what fans can do, the draw have proven that uh, on winning most of their home games. So maybe a call out to fans to come out and get uh, behind our Fijian Yes, team. we've... Um, We've always wanted to, you know, we, we, we can only ask for the fans to, to support, especially the women's game. You know, they, um, it, we've worked very hard to try and uh, increase the footprint of our women's game. And, uh, you know, we've got them represented at the uh, elite level at the HSBC series in the Super, uh, Super W and in the World Cup in 2022 where we were, 2022 where we were first represented. And now it's, uh, you know, the ball is rolling for the women's game and we would like to, to ask all the fans to come in and, and watch on the 14th of uh, June, which is next week on Friday in Suva. And uh, next week, uh, the following week on the 20th, on the Thursday in uh, Churchill Park in Lotok. Okay, uh, FRU is holding a constitution workshop uh, we gather in, in uh, I mean around the country uh, with the unions. Uh, what's that all about, and uh, how how's the unions uh, how are the unions going to benefit from that? Yes, the, you know when uh, you know we had a change in um, uh, in our board last year, uh, we realised uh, uh, that the constitution we were working under was not registered. Uh, so we've had to dissolve that and go back to the 1997 constitution. And uh, you know the, the the current government elected five board of trustees to look after the affairs of Fiji rugby. So, and they were mandated by World Rugby, uh, you know, to get the constitution sorted then the, by the first of uh, July this year. So, having said that, we were suspended from the World Rugby Council, which until we get our constitution sorted. And uh, for the last two weeks, we have been going around. Uh, one in Nandi, one in Suva, and uh, just uh, on Monday we were in Savu Savu for all our four northern unions. And, uh, you know, the, the new constitution is something that, uh, you know, we need to um, uh, get the union's approval and endorsement before we take it to the SGM on the 29th of June and then at the AGM on the 27th of July. So once that's done, we'll register the constitution because uh, the last one we were working on was not registered and hopefully that can get our seat back uh, into the World Rugby Council. If that is to happen, to get our seat back on, on the World Rugby Council, well, by when uh, is the latest <coughs> can, can we get that? Well, we're having an, a special general meeting at the end of this month, uh, so that needs to be tabled and, and uh, we've given the unions until uh, this Friday to send in, um, we sent it to them a week before we went through the consultation so they can have a read. You know, should they want to add anything to it or delete anything from it, you know, they can uh, send it to us by this Friday and then when we table the, uh, the constitution on the 29th of June after the consultations, you know, hopefully that would be uh, you know, the one that uh, will be uh, accepted by the 28 uh, unions that we have in Fiji. Hmm. Now moving on to our seventh team, uh, the next one coming up is of course uh, the Olympic Games in uh, Paris, France. You're, you're the chef de mission of Team Fiji there as well. Good performance in Madrid, uh, a lot of improvements uh, as seen by fans and, uh, and coaching pundits, uh, rugby pundits around the country. So uh, 
As far as the sevens teams are concerned, the men's and the women's, uh, how how's things looking for them uh, <laughs> to defend their bronze and gold medals respectively? Yeah, no, the, the main thing is defending the two gold medals, you know, and uh, no, I can't believe we were happy with coming third. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and and uh, for us to be happy and coming third be the way we performed. I, I thought we performed very well, you know, I, I guess with the inclusion of Jerry Toy mm. uh, brings that uh, calmness into the team, that stability that uh, probably had been missing, that, that uh, leadership head eh? and uh, every time he gets the ball the, the opposition is you have three people watching Jerry so that leaves only four people to defend six players hopefully mm. so you know and uh, but uh, I think he's uh, I, I just spoke with uh, some of them they just landed here uh, you know they, they're quite happy with where they are uh, you know, another month or so, the end of June, we, uh, July, we'll be watching them, and uh, it, it's just great to see that there's a slight change in in the way they played. Mm. Jerry and uh, Captain uh, Longane Masi got named in the dream team of the tournament after very long. We saw some Fijian players <laughs> in that team, of course, uh, which is a good sign, uh, I guess. Yes, you know, we, I mean, most of us we watch games. You know, we watch all the sevens games. We stay up late in the morning, uh, late at night, early in the mornings to watch the game. So we have a fair idea of what a good team looks like you know and uh, i mean you don't have to be a coaching expert to mm. to know what's going on and and most of us can probably agree that their performance in madrid was probably a step up from the previous performances and uh, even though we still came third you know we beat new zealand twice in that same tournament and uh, you know the how we lost to france was very mm. you know it, it could happen to anyone and uh, you know we were looking to score that try but uh, it's just unfortunate we mm. we lost that ball in that contact but uh, you know overall everybody can be happy but i guess the big thing for, as you mentioned in paris the you know, the defense of the gold medal and that is where they'll probably be judged whether they are you know successful or not for this year mm. Any update on the draw players uh, with the draw season <laughs> coming to an end? Well, uh, you know, there's uh, some players in the draw who are also in the squad. Um, with, uh, you know, from a sevens perspective, we'd hope that they'd lost last week so they can have an extra week training for the sevens team. But, you know, we wish them well. Uh, this week's uh, quarterfinal against the Blues, you know, again, it's a huge task mm. for the draw players. You know, the Blues are probably the the informed team right now you know they've got uh, strike weapons from all across the field and uh, you know they they are i think they'd probably be the team to beat and you know the Ndrua, you know on a given day we can do anything we've, we've, we've shown time and time again that we've toppled uh, you know highly ranked teams and uh, but the only thing as you mentioned we only seem to do it at home, at home yeah. but if you can do it away Man, that should be a huge weekend for for, for Fiji rugby, for mm. rugby. Now, Sally, finally, the uh, flying Fijians, uh, very important year for them, uh, building up towards uh, the next World Cup, of course. But we play the All Blacks and three big tests uh, against the European teams at the end of the year. So I guess preparations for the flying Fijians will begin once the Super Rugby season ends for the draw. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, we get a new coach now in Mick Burns and I'm sure he's got his plans laid out. Uh, you know, most of the draw players will probably uh, be making the team. You know, and then we have our European players who are you know, probably also coming to the end of their season as well. So, you know, it, uh, you know it's always uh, a logistical challenge to, you know, to to prepare a team when your players are scattered all over the world. Eh? But uh, now they're going to uh, to San Diego. You know, a huge opportunity for us to against the All Blacks. And, uh, you know, we, uh, hopefully all the players are available and fit and, uh, you know, raring to go. But uh, there's always a challenge after every World Cup. You know, some players leave, new players coming in, and uh, it's always a hard year to try and maintain uh, a, a consistency because of the you know of the of the mathematics that goes on because players leave you know new players come in and now we have a test against the all blacks you know again uh, you know i hope we really and we can 
I hope we can win against the old blacks. Hmm. Matching up to teams like Australia and New Zealand was uh, was a difficult ask for Fijians when it came to when it came to 15s rugby. But at the last World Cup, we saw what we did to Australia, and uh, a lot of uh, draw players helped in that. Mm. Of course, we play Australia and New Zealand uh, based players week in week out, and for Australia and New Zealand, we all know only those players who play in Super Rugby are well, eligible to play for the national team. So that just might give a, a bit more confidence to our players. Well, you know, it's um, it should you know it should uh, because the uh, you know you 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 play at a, at a level like these guys have done it for the last what 14 weeks you mm -hmm. know 15 weeks so they know the requirement and the, and taking that step up to the, to the national representations you know it's all mental from here on in you know you've been through this before but it's uh, just playing for your country now and the, you know I, I really hope we put on a good show against the All Blacks you know with uh, viewership in America and the world, you know, in San Diego. You know, I really hope we uh, we put on a good show and, you know, with the new coaching staff of uh, Mick Burns and uh, and whatever coaching staff we'll pick, you know, the challenge is always on the on the wall for us to, you know, to do well against our regional teams, you know, as you said in the last World Cup, but we also lost to teams like uh, mm -hmm. Portugal, Portugal and, Georgia. you know, so in Georgia, so uh, I think we should maintain that consistency. Mm. All right, Sally, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for all the information that you have shared. Remember, next week, Friday, at uh, in Suva, a venue yet to be confirmed, uh, our Fijiana 15 side. They take on uh, the Japanese uh, women's 15 team, and uh, we don't get many opportunities to watch a team that's going to a World Cup. Both teams are going and uh, playing against uh, 11th ranked in the world Japan team. Will be a good challenge for our Fijiana side. So be there. Uh, our venue will be confirmed in the coming days by the FRU. So be there to support our Fijiana side. Till we meet again, Nisamode.